we need to almost see people as if we were blind. Imagine living in a world where whole groups of people felt ashamed, felt not good enough, felt unworthy, and felt like they didn't really belong to the society, that they couldn't really express themselves. They felt ashamed to step outside of their front door simply for being the way they are. Well, we don't need to imagine that, of course, because we live in that society. We live in a world where huge portions of the population feel unwelcome, like they don't fit in, like they are not good enough, they are unwanted, and it's, it's sad. I'm over it. If you've got freckles, if you have curly hair, if you are overweight or your body's just the wrong shape, maybe it's more box shaped, maybe you've got the wrong color skin, maybe you are the wrong ethnicity, your nose is hooked, you've got downturned eyes, you're older, you're gray, you're disabled, I don't know, whatever it is, you're balding, you are <laughs> excessively wrinkly. So many of us don't fit the mold, the beauty standard, the ideal, the thin, the plump lips, whatever is trending or the Instagram face. And most of us feel less than, we feel judged, we feel unworthy. So we step outside of our homes, but we've got this internal feeling of like not good enough and shame. And that's sick. That's wrong. And that's not to say that we are wrong. It's the society that is wrong. If a society is making its people feel bad, that is saying that there's something wrong with society because that is how we are. That is how we naturally are. We have flabby bodies. We've got wrinkly skin. We've got age spots, marks, freckles, beauty spots, skew teeth. I don't know. Whatever it is that is quote unquote wrong about you, and there's nothing wrong with you, but wrong in the eyes of the traditional beauty ideals, and you feeling ashamed about that, that is not a reflection of you. That is a reflection of an unhealthy society. And I know we know this. You know this, but somehow we don't want to know this. So we do everything we can to try and fit into the beauty ideal, try and squeeze into clothes, diet ourselves down, self-flagellate. We tell ourselves we are bad, we are unworthy. We try and, I don't know, squeeze into fashions that are wrong. Even just high heels. It's ludicrous that women still wear uncomfortable shoes. I do it. <laughs> and it's ludicrous. I think it's crazy, but I still do it because it's pretty. Our feet look dainty. Our legs look longer, whatever the case may be. We get blisters. We can hardly walk. We're hobbling around by the end of the evening. It is just, it's so crazy. And if you stop to think about it, it's crazy what we do to our skin, especially women. Microneedling and the lasers and the Botox and the fillers the bruising, the pain, the recovery time, the, the chemical peels even, and I'm not saying don't do them. I'm not saying they don't, some, sometimes they don't work. Some of them kind of work. It's temporary at least. But all the things we do, the shaving, the plucking, the dyeing, everything, and it's a personal choice and there's nothing wrong with it. But the fact that we feel like we have to, it's kind of wrong. It's kind of sick and we know it, <laughs> but we still do it. And we still fall for all these things. And I'm there. I'm the one who does a lot of these things. I mean, I'm the one who's had a nose job. Okay, my nose wasn't even ethnic. So it wasn't like I, I was Jewish and then didn't look Jewish. I just had a hooked nose. It was my dad's nose. I don't know. I, I'm glad I did it. So I, I also can't say don't do anything to fit in. Do it. I've had lip filler. Do it. It's, it's like I think it's the best thing I ever did. But it, it still makes me feel sad that we are so superficial as a society even though I partake. <laughs> I am influenced. I am a product of the society I live in. I wish I had the strength to be more bold and just not do any of these things, but I don't and I'm not. And I like fitting in and looking my best. It's, it, I can't help it. <laughs> it just feels good to feel like I look good. I mean, I had a boob job as well and I don't regret it. Although maybe now that I'm older, Looking back, would I have done it again? I don't know, because um, it is sagging now. It's hard to say. It's hard to say looking back what was the right decision, but there is so much we do, even nails, gel nails. I mean, we're sticking our fingers under UV lights, and yet we are told and we know that UV lights are dangerous and they cause cancer. Do you see where I'm go going with this? It's, it's the society that is so superficial, and yet we buy into it and we perpetuate it by doing it, and I'm part of it and we don't spend enough time 
valuing people for what's on the inside and we know we should because we want to be valued for what's on the inside we want we don't want to be judged based on how we look and so who is society it's us it's the collective us and so i don't know how to change it but i do know that if we all changed it would change but what are the chances of all of us changing very slim and also i think so much of it is obviously it's a societal pressure on women even the men feel it though but it's more on women we are judged on our looks because we are seen as possessions still unfortunately mostly yeah it's not fair but it just shows you it's not you it is a sickness in society and you're not wrong to feel conflicted i think that is really the message of today's video if you feel conflicted and you feel like damn it I'm doing all these things. I don't really want to do them, but I am doing them and I can't help myself for doing them. And then you think, no, no, I'm going to stop doing them. I'm just not going to give a fuck. And then you give a fuck again and then you don't give a fuck. And then you go on a diet and you lose weight. And then you're like, no, fuck this. I'm tired of dieting. I just want to be me and eat whatever I want to eat. And this is me world. And then you're like, oh no, I've gained 10, 20, 30 pounds. Now I don't feel good. If that's you, just know that you have absorbed all the societal messaging as we all have. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. And it's okay if you do the things to look a certain way. And it's also okay when you drop out of doing those things. And I think as you get older, you do slowly, because I'm just seeing it in myself now. And this is just the beginning, because I'm only 45. You do slowly drop out of all these things. And you stop believing in all of them, because they don't work. You can't stave off aging. I mean, it's going to catch up to all of us. We all are going to age. And eventually you realize how silly it all is. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm hoping. But I just think be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. And the change really, I know it's a cliche, hey? but it does start with you. It starts with you and with me. Actually seeing beyond. We need to almost see people as if we were blind. That's how we need to see or see them with eyes that see the light inside. Our eyes need to, we need to train ourselves to see people through the external and and i'm not saying don't groom of course groom if you have a workplace and you need to look professional do that <laughs> i'm not saying don't do that do that like don't rock up in your sweatpants but we need to train ourselves to see inside and see the true character of someone and that takes time it takes discernment it takes getting to know someone yeah it just takes valuing the right things and we can do that. You are capable of it. I'm capable. We all know how to do it. You know how to when someone's being true and honest and kind. And we must try and resist society and people foisting their unrealistic beauty ideals on us. Because if you look around at the real world, most people are very average looking. And that's great. And they look all ways, all kinds of ways. You get people with bulbous noses, hook noses, long noses, long faces, jutting out chins big foreheads like me the droopy downturned eyes which i love i love all that i love the variety and what we are losing is that unique beauty our society is losing that by everyone wanting to have an instagram face look the truth is the majority of us will not have an instagram face we can't afford it we just don't have the means and that's that's actually a good thing it's actually a good thing because i think people go under the knife, do fillers, do all this, and then they regret it later in life, is my assumption. Not always. The things I've done, I don't regret, but I haven't gone extreme. So I just think, yeah, we need to hold on to diversity. Celebrate the unique, interesting variety of people that there are. Freckles, red hair, albinos, people with gaps in their front teeth. I mean, my aunt has got a gap in her front teeth, and I think it's so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. What a shame if everyone just morphed into the same kind of look. That would be a shame. What is beautiful is having somebody who is naturally long and tall and skinny next to somebody who is curvy like a Jennifer Lopez. Both are beautiful. And then if we even break that down further to different looking people, it is all okay. And beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. I know it's another cliche, but it is true. You can choose to see beauty in almost anyone. In fact, in anyone, not almost anyone. Because when that spirit of somebody shines through and you look at them and you realize what a miracle the soul is that is shining through those eyes. 
that is when you see true beauty. Okay, I'm going to leave you with all those thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.